A 50-minute flight north of Kenya's capital, Nairobi, and you come to a place that's often been described as paradise on earth. Diane. Diane. Yes. Karibuni sana. Dom will be your driver okay. to the camp. This is big game country. And from the moment you land, you're almost immediately on safari. And guaranteed to see four of the big five even before you get to the luxuriously tented Samburu Intrepid's Lodge nestled neatly on the banks of the Uwasonyiro River, which translated from the local language appropriately means the river of muddy waters. This is what you're almost guaranteed on the 20-minute drive to Samburu Intrepid's. Elephant, plenty of them. Lions, and if you're lucky, lions that have just made a fresh kill. This time, it just happens to be a fellow member of the Big Five, the buffalo. And then further along, the ever-elusive leopard. By the time you get to some Buru Intrepids, your adrenaline is pumping. And a smoothing cold compress, followed by a glass of equally cold, fresh juice, is just the right combination to introduce you to luxury at a whole new level. All 25 of the tented rooms conveniently face the Uasunyiro, giving visitors an unprecedented advantage over lodges elsewhere. And here's another advantage, tented suites, where parents don't have to worry about children being on their own in another tent. At Samburu Intrepids, we have the answer. Two tents joined together with a family area in between. In fact, we can safely say Samburu Intrepids is the only luxury camp where this is available. Samburu Intrepids also offers guests numerous amenities, like a full-size swimming pool to cool off from the heat, and a long bar that usually closes when the last guest leaves. Lunch usually gives way to an afternoon game drive, and resident expert and trained naturalist Stephen Tillis, a member of the Samburu tribe, is the perfect guide to take you where the animals and bird life are. Tillis tells us that Samburu is not only home to four of the big five, but also what he calls the special five, species of animals unique and exclusive to this part of Kenya's arid northern frontier. These include the rare reticulated giraffe with its uniquely prominent checks almost resembling big squares. The Somali ostrich, named after this area which was once known as Somaliland. The Beza oryx, the Grevy zebra, whose stripes end at the belly rather than going all the way around. And rounding off the special five is the resident Gerenux, a member of the antelope family, which has an unusually strong neck, giving it the ability to stand on its hind legs to reach the all-important leaves on the shrubs and bushes. Game drives can be thirsty work, and no safari is complete without the traditional sundowner. And at Samburu Intrepids, it's a sundowner like no other. Complete with traditional Samburu warriors making their presence felt in this culturally rich environment. <laughs> Guests are offered a variety of beverages, cocktails and bitings as they watch the sun slowly going down over the Ololoque mountain range in the distance. All this as the Samburu warriors bid farewell to the daylight and welcome the evening. And while guests are busy enjoying the sunset, the hard-working staff at Samburu Intrepids are busy preparing for yet another Samburu exclusive, a sumptuous bush dinner complete with candlelights and blazing bonfire. A 
Again, the Samburu warriors are on hand to provide a colorful backdrop while guests are treated to an equally colorful evening of fine dining under African skies. It's the perfect ambience for couples, families, and even newlyweds like Brian and Allison Block, all the way from Kansas City, Missouri, and who've been dreaming of coming to Africa for many years. I know that uh, the, the animals are here. This is the place to go. Uh, it's beautiful topography. Uh, the weather's supposed to be nice as it has been, and uh, just always wanted to come. Yeah. We've seen the most amazing animals since we've been here. We saw the lions right after they made a kill yesterday, which was so exciting. Yeah. The entire Samburu Intrepid experience, they say, has been nothing short of a fairy tale. Um, just uh, the pictures can't even describe it. Uh -uh. I mean, even a great picture won't, you know, let you have the inside of what you see every day, and. Uh, it's just amazing. I mean, I'm going to tell them everything about, you know, just the functions that are held here, the tribes, the animals, how much I've learned, everything I can. Yeah. Samburu native Stephen Tillis, who also just happens to be a trained astronomist, says after dinner, guests can enjoy yet another unique feature offered exclusively here. Stargazing in this country famous for its open skies. Uh, yes, basically, I mean, to be in Samburu is one of the best places, I'll say, in Kenya uh, to observe sky. So seeing the animals, the big four, the special five, your trip will not be complete if you will not have a, a chance to see the skies here in Samburu. Here in Samburu, we may be able to see more than even 70 constellations out of the 88 the whole year. A peaceful night's sleep. And before you know it, dawn breaks over the Samburu Plains in a spectacular array of colors. Many have tried to describe this wonder of nature, but it simply has to be experienced firsthand in order to appreciate its splendor and majesty. This is usually followed by a morning game drive. And believe me, it's a whole new experience of more game spotting as opposed to just regular game viewing. A couple of hours of animal and bird watching is enough to whet anyone's appetite, and Samburu Intrepids has the perfect solution. A bush breakfast on the banks of the Wasunyiro River. It's an unforgettable feeling that couples like the blocks will forever cherish. Sopa is jumbo. Sopa. In right. Samburu. Sopa. 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 And just before guests depart for their onward journey, a quick visit to a local Samburu village, part of Samburu Intrepid's corporate social responsibility of promoting local culture, involves taking them directly to the community village where the Samburu are only too happy not only to sell their artifacts directly, but more importantly, give the guests that little bit extra, like a personal tour of their traditional homes. We also have a school close by the village that actually we as intrapists actually we brought up from the scratch. Yeah, Right now actually it's up to final uh, primary level which actually again just next week we'll be actually taking them to the nearest town close by to sit for their final primary examination. Yeah, So we support the community in total while you're here. It's no secret that Kenya is safari country. But a trip to Kenya would be incomplete without a visit to Samburu Intrepids. Nothing comes closer to being one with nature in a land as incredibly spectacular as it is equally blessed. Samburu Intrepids, where nurture meets nature.